Now, Spirit said there's something else in the middle of the deck. Let's just see real quick. Spirit said you have money blocks. Three, two, one. All right, let's get into this intuitive reading for Jasmine. This tarot card reading, this reading is alleged and for entertainment purposes. Sometimes the tea is hot and sometimes it's not. You have to watch the video to the end to determine for yourself. If you are new here, welcome. If you're always here, welcome back, friend. <laughs> okay, so let me tell you something. Spirit said, the download when I was getting these cards, it said, boy, you never find another love as good as this. So you better represent, cause my love is the shh, the bomb, baby. Who you talking to, Jasmine? All right, so Spirit is acknowledging that there are mountains, okay? There are trials and tribulations, but don't stop, get it, get it. This is a part of life, so buckle up. It's the university of the universe. Enjoy the ride. Um, you need to focus forward, have anticipation of good things happening. Don't just, you know, consume the negative energy of negative things happening because it feels like it's blow after blow after blow, right? But, you know, there's potential in, in, in life, but it's really based upon your choices. Good choices equal good karma. Bad choices equal bad karma, okay? So keep your eyes on the prize. Spirit is also acknowledging that you got, thank you, Spirit, a drink in one hand and musical instrument in the other. So you are just blowing off steam. At the heart of it, you need to get found, uh, you need to get gain foundation get, get grounded is what i'm trying to say there's a swirl of communication around your situation at the heart of it you want peace i do see ancestral energy around you and that makes perfect sense because ancestors are always around us but you're blowing off steam there's an energy of rebellion merriment overindulgence and wanting to escape the spirits that you can't escape until you have a come to jesus moment there's some truthful communication that needs to be had okay and this truthful communication will allow you to operate in a solar plexus energy that is very high vibrational but you have to surrender you have to release you have to have integrity you, and you have to allow for divine intervention to intercept and intercede because there's something that you're not saying um, and there's something that you need to be quiet about, okay? There's something that you're not saying, but then there's also something that you need to be quiet about. Um, and silence, discretion, contemplation, equanimity, consideration, and privacy. Spirit said you're saying a little too much. There's something that needs to be said, but then there's, it's, a, it's a layer of energy. There's other things that you're talking about and you're saying way too much, okay? Spirit is also acknowledging that there's some, some sweating like a sinner in church because there's guilt, remorse, nerves, worry, confession coming clean. There's something that you're lying about. The spirit says it's got you kind of high and in the background a little bit. Um, but you need to have, you need to come clean. You need to have integrity. You need to apologize. Okay. And then once you get th th through this energy, you'll be able to, you know, um, open the door to good and positive energy. Okay. Because spirit is saying that there is lipstick on the pig. You are lying through your teeth about something. There's denial, cover up, trickery, superficiality, frivolity, foolishness. And spirit is acknowledging for people to take a closer look. This energy has you feeling very perplexed. Has you you feeling very anxious has you feeling very depressed is the energy it's like happy sad happy sad is what's coming over me but this also affects your your passionate energy so your romantic energy it also affects your solar plexus it also involves a water sign or could just be very emotional for you so spirit is acknowledging that you need to have inner calm well-being patience deep breathing compassion and ideal because right now you are barking up the wrong tree like you are angry at spirit you're angry at god you're angry at the universe thank you spirit you're angry with your friends you're angry with your situation but it's really about taking a closer look and acknowledging what role did you play in this situation? Because there's dead end stalemate, not now. Because there's a lack of clarity and a perspective shift that's needed on your part. You know what I'm saying? And and, and this is twofold. No shade, no tea, no shade. But it's also on the perspective of everyone who's looking in, okay? There is a lack of clarity in this situation. But Spirit is also acknowledging that this has you running around like a chicken with your head cut off. You're feeling very busy, overwhelmed, frenzy, deadline, stress, chaotic. Spirit is asking for you to refocus and redo for best results, okay? Spirit said there's something else in the middle of the deck. Let's just see what's in there. Boom. Spirit said this has to do with your relationship. Um, this is hotter than blue blazes. Relationship, sensuality, amorousness, chemistry, longing, and an instant crush. And Spirit said you're pointing fingers at others, but you know what? When you point one finger, several fingers are pointed back at you. And this is a very emotional energy. Fire sign energy is involved here. But there's an energy of suffering, fools, disdain, displeasure, content, poking fun, and reading between the lines. So people are reading between the lines in this relationship. People are calling you suffering, a suffering fool. People are acknowledging that you're in an energy of disdain and displeasure. And you're poking fun at them but they're poking fun back at you okay do you understand what i'm saying all right so spirit has also guided me to use this deck i show you to the ancestors i show you to the universe for jasmine A 
Okay, so Spirit is acknowledging that you are operating in an energy of a magical child. Um, there is something about your life that you would rather it be like a fairy tale or some kind of unicorn, um, some type of like, it's, it's very made up. It's very fantasized. Um, that's on the surface on the bottom of the deck spirit is acknowledging, um, that you are trying to be a, somewhat of a magician or a spell caster to make sure that this happens. So it's more like putting your intentions out there to have it, what you want to have this fairy tale, to have this happy ending, to have this unicorn um, energy, to have this castle. Do you understand what I'm saying? Um, that, that's what you're doing subconsciously to make that work. And in the middle of the deck, Spirit is acknowledging um, with um, the muse, there is there's like somebody that you, you are desiring to be like. There is someone that you're looking at and you're like, I wish my life was like that. I wish I had this opportunity. I wish I could do like her or be like her or have what she has. It's very interesting energy. Sending you love and light. Romanticizing this, but not really seeing it for what it is. Like you're looking at your life through some rose colored glasses. And Spirit is acknowledging there's something wrong there. Um, also, there is a third party um, energy here. Um, and it's on your part. It's on the part of Jasmine, okay? All right, Jasmine moving in love and light, current energy. Yes, Spirit is acknowledging like a lover. Thank you, Spirit. And when I say that, look what comes out, crossroad. There's an energy of you being at a crossroad um, and that you need to make a decision. Road opener energy, pay attention, please. Spirit is acknowledging, are you at a point in your life where an important decision must be made? Pull this card is to face a reckoning. Mm, the universe is urging you to make a call. Stories of the crossroad come from dilemma tales in West African and African American folklore dating back many centuries, and they just inspire us to be de decisive. The most powerful and successful people in the world don't wait for permission. They push aside obstacles and they forge their paths with courage. So there's a decision that you need to make. And it's interesting that it came out like that when I said that there's more than one person involved in this situation, okay? Um... <sighs> Let's look at the bottom of the deck. The bottom of the deck does say that there is um, subconsciously um, you're thinking about your wealth and you're thinking about prosperity and you're thinking about luck within this decision that you're making. But Spirit says in the middle of the deck, what we're not seeing is with cornbread, you need to have humility and you need to have an energy of generosity. This is the thing. Life is all about reciprocity. And thank you, Spirit. And you have to keep this give and take, give and take kind of wheel going. If all you're doing is taking, you, everything is unbalanced. And so you need to give as much as you take. I say to the ancestors, I say to the universe. Jasmine's current energy. So this is the second time this energy has come out about a witch or a spell caster or trying to manifest things, but having some negative intent behind it. So now we have the witch in reverse and spirit is acknowledging that this is the current energy that you are operating in. It says, bitch, harmful intent, ill will, harm unto others or self, backfire, dishonesty, force, misuse of magic. See, spiritual differences, liar, troublemaker, bitterness, groundless, greed, hidden agenda, dark magic enchantress evil spirited you really better pay attention to this because i tell people all the time if you don't know what you're doing leave it alone your intent on what you say and what you do to try to get the energy to pull towards your will if it has a negative intent it will come back and it will hurt you it will harm you because whatever you put back is yours so if you have an energy to wish harm or ill will or to be divisive um, that energy is yours. You gave birth to that energy. That energy stays connected to you, you know, to, to take advantage or, or anything like that on others. That is negative energy. Please be careful messing with that energy. That's all I can say. Okay. Jasmine, current romantic energy.
Yeah, Spirit said, got C. Special recipe. You've been dibbling and dabbling in that stuff. You better be careful. And this was to bend, mend your broken heart. You better be careful. Because of the butterfly effect. With your eyes closed. You just wanted this to manifest and transform into something that was going to work for you. And that's why you did it. That's why you did it. But it's coming back to bite you in the ass. Like for real. You need to be careful. Ill intention. Second time we hear that. Someone is heavily plotting against you and or your relationship. Spell work may be involved. Pay attention. Pay attention. And subconsciously. <laughs> Subconsciously, this was to bandage up your inner the 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 energy between you and your um, significant other. This was to bandage up the energy healing. You or your lover interest is still in the process of healing from previous relationship or relationships. You or your love interest is still in the process of healing from previous relations or relationships. Do you understand? And this is never going to work for this. It's never. Because if it's not for you, it's not for you. You walking around with shoes that are two sizes too small. It's hurt. It hurts. You got to let that go. And Spirit said this is because of the butterfly effect. Something as simple as a kiss has turned into love for you or your love interest. This is also the card of obsession. An obsession of oneself. But energy just keeps screaming third party. There's a third party energy. In the middle of the deck, something else. Yeah. And someone is guilty as charged. Someone know they fucked up. Someone is guilty. Someone feels guilty when it comes to you and your relationship. Someone knows. Thank you, spirit, that there is something wrong here. This is their guilty conscience. Someone feels guilty for something they did or said. Accusations and being accused of wrongful actions or something here. Okay. So pay attention to your relationship because there is something going on. And it is just screaming third party, third party, third party. What does Jasmine need to hear from the universe? Moving in love and light ancestors. What do you want to say? Jasmine moving in love and light. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Oh, yes, connecting. Spirit is acknowledging that you are loved. You are loved. You are here for a reason. Don't fuck it up. On the bottom of the deck, Spirit is acknowledging some good shit is about to happen for you. So don't let your issues fuck it up. Okay. That's an area of communication. And Spirit also said, stop texting, stop stalking, and stop checking on that person. Just fucking stop. Spend your time on someone worth it. Don't waste it on ridiculousness. Okay. And that's in the area of passion. Okay, so in the area of passion, you are love, but you need to stop texting that person. And you're here for a reason. Don't fuck it up worrying about this person. Thank you, spirit. Spend time on someone worth it. Don't waste it on ridiculousness. I keep hearing third party energy. And in the area of communication, some good shit is about to happen. Don't let your issues fuck it up. Don't let your issues get in the middle of that. In the middle of the deck, there's something else it wants me to know. Spirit is saying, don't talk to anyone. Don't look at anyone. You need some fucking alone time and you know why. Boom. And that's in the area of communication again. Oh. So let's look at your finances. My Jazzy Life Jasmine, what's going on with your finances? Spirit is acknowledging that you have a toxic work environment. That there is some luck on your side subconsciously, but you have a toxic work environment. So subconsciously, you're thinking love is luck, excuse me, is on your side. But on the surface, there's a toxic, toxic work environment. And in the middle of the deck, spirit is saying what you're not seeing is bad deals, um, buying, selling and exchanging. You have bad deals. OK, so, yeah, on the surface. But subconsciously, you just feel like luck is on my side. I can make this work. But in the middle of the deck, they're saying bad deals, buying, selling, and exchanging. It's not going to work out. That That is not. That is not. Spirit said there's something else in the middle of the deck. Let's just see real quick. Spirit said you have money blocks. The energy is blocking. The money is not coming through because you have money blocks. And again, it's the intent. It's what you're putting out. That energy is coming back. And it's called karma. Okay. Oh, spirit said, um, 
on the surface, you feel like wish your wishes came true in the area of entertainment, fame, rewards, abundance, and good health. On the bottom of the deck, Spirit said, uh, subconsciously, uh, you know that there's low confidence. You have low confidence that you're cold and you're a mean girl. So on the surface, this is what you're showing. Your wishes come true, that you're, you know, you're an entertainer. You have rewards and fame and abundance and good health. But subconsciously, you have low confidence. You're cold and you're a mean girl. In the middle of the deck, Spirit is saying that you're just going to continue to go for what you want, work for what you want. Want. Um, you're trying to be persistent. You want your dreams to come true. You're trying to be conservative and responsible person. Just, you know, tiptoeing to the coin, tiptoeing to having a stronger foundation. What's the energy of her relationship? Look at these cards. It was like, let me tell you. Well, it says with the King of Pentacles, someone is being unfaithful. It keeps saying that. There's also an energy of corruption and greed. Spirit is also saying in your relationship, there's reverse roles and doing things in an unconventional way, equaling bad business as well. With the Hierophant in reverse, Spirit is acknowledging that you're overwhelmed. You have an emotional detachment attachment and an indecision so you keep saying indecision make a decision make a decision but you have indecision with the two of swords you don't know which way to go because you're thinking but the way that you're thinking is not correct it's more like obsession again but it's a toxic mind frame okay it's negative mind frame you're thinking about this knight of cups there's a romantic proposal it keeps saying three 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 so charm there's somebody trying to come in charm gentlemen chivalry prince charming negotiations spirit is acknowledging that you need to get balanced um you need to focus on finding a deeper meaning and be patient approach this situation carefully you need to have harmony within yourself because you're focusing on trying to find your soulmate um, but spirit is acknowledging you need balance this is a water sign energy could be very emotional for you spirit is saying that you're dealing with the will of fortune when it comes to relationships spirit says good luck good luck with that because big changes are ahead karma comes out again second time we hear that a turning point and life-changing decisions third time we hear decisions okay in the middle of the deck again when we talk about your romance um spirit is acknowledging that you have an energy of manipulation a bad mom because you're ungrounded with the queen of pentacles spirit is also acknowledging that there's an energy of paranoia isolation being antisocial with the hermit card in reverse virgo energy again spirit is acknowledging these are things in your relationship uh spirit is acknowledging with the three of cups that there's something that you're celebrating happy times happiness indulgence and friendship and gathering um so there's a celebration happening here in the midst of all of this but spirit is saying with the two of wands you don't know whether to stay or go that you want to get far away from this energy because you take the, you took a risk again you needed to make a decision this is in the area energy of romance spirit is also acknowledging that there's inequality in this energy abuse of power and a scam likely with the six of pentacles so this relationship is definitely taking a blow but there's it keeps saying three is a crowd three is a crowd three is a crowd three 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 What's going on with that? What is ja my Jazzy Life's biggest obstacle? Your biggest obstacle, I read obstacle in reverse. Okay, so marrying for money, a family feud, and a huge debt is a big obstacle for you. Uh, conflict, stuck between two choices and an imbalance with the lover's card. It keeps saying stuck between two choices, three's a crowd, a lover. Hey, lover, hey, lover. What you got going on, girl? Okay, in the middle of the deck, spirit is acknowledging another obstacle for you is manipulation, being a bad mom and ungrounded with the queen of pentacles. All right, what's next for my jazzy life? Um... If Chris finds out, he is definitely going to sound off, okay? Uh, with the Ace of, Pen of, of Wands, this is an area of passion, but also an area of business. Uh, creativity, fun, willpower, projects, and desire on the bottom of the deck. What's next? <laughs> conflict because you're stuck between two choices imbalance with the lover's card it just keeps saying it it just keeps coming out so on the surface you're trying to be very creative and you're trying to show that you have willpower and that you have desires out here but subconsciously this is going to create a conflict because you're going to be stuck between two choices creating an imbalance with the lover's card in reverse in the middle of the deck where we're not seeing a spirit said again with this decision good luck with the Wheel of Fortune, because you're about to deal with some heavy cycles, uh, changes ahead, dealing with karma. Third time we hear turning point because you have to make some life changing decisions. OK, Spirit said something else in the middle of the deck. OK, Spirit said that this is going to create um, some pow pow. OK, uh, protection, you needing protection, you having to deal with some of the negotiations in the area of business, but also in the area of passion, um, resisting this and needing to defend yourself. Sending you love and light. This reading is a legend and for entertainment purposes. Now we sit back and let the universe do what the universe does.